welcome back to our channel in this tutorials we are going to talk about addition and subtraction of complex numbers now let's start with the addition now adding complex numbers is pretty much simple all that you have to do is to add the real parts and add the imaginary parts so given two complex numbers a plus b i and c plus d i if i am adding these two complex numbers they are going to be a plus b i being added to let me put them in a bracket plus c plus d i so what i will do is i will add the real parts to the real parts and i'll add the imaginary parts to the imaginary parts so here i'm going to add the real part that's a plus c which will give me a plus c then i also add the imaginary part which is positive b plus positive d so i'm going to get plus b plus d but what is this part this is the imaginary part so i'll, be, I'll bring my i so this is how we add complex numbers now let's take an example let's say we have Two complex numbers 3 plus 4i and 2 minus i. We are asked to add these two complex numbers. So 3 plus 4i plus 2 minus i. What are you going to get? So you add the real parts to the real parts. So 3 plus 2 is going to give us 5 and positive 4 plus negative 1 because the coefficient of i here is negative 1 which makes the imaginary part in this part of the complex number negative 1 and here our imaginary part is 4 so 4 which is positive plus negative 1 so it's 4 plus negative 1 which is going to give us 4 minus 1 which equals what 3 so we are going to get 5 plus 3 i because this is the imaginary part so when we add these two complex numbers this is what we are going to get we are going to get 5 plus 3 i all right let's solve another example Okay. We have Z1 equals 6 plus I9 or 9I and Z2 is equal to 12 plus I7. We are asked to evaluate Z1 plus Z2. So we are adding these two complex numbers. So Z1 plus Z2 is going to be equal to 6 plus I9, this complex number, plus this complex number, 12 plus I7. So like I said earlier, when we add the real parts to the real parts, so 6 plus 12 is going to give me 18. So 18, then positive 9 because the part which is attached, the, the number which is attached to the i here is what? It's 9. So 9 here is the imaginary part of this complex number. And 7 here is the imaginary part of this complex number. So we add them to. So positive 9 plus 7. So we are going to get 16, right? So we are going to get 18 plus 16 and you add our i because that is the imaginary part so this is how we add complex numbers let's move on to the subtraction now how we subtract the complex numbers is the same or how we do the addition is the same way that we do the subtraction only the difference is that we are going to 
subtract one from the other. So here we are going to subtract the real part and subtract the imaginary part. That's all. That's how we subtract calculus or two calculus numbers. So when we have this calculus number. A hypothetical calculus number that you've been working with a plus b i and c plus d i so if we are going to let's say if you are finding the difference between this complex number maybe a plus b i minus c plus d i this is how you are going to get. You will subtract the real part and subtract the imaginary part. So you are going to get A minus C. A minus C because this negative will affect everything that is here. So A minus C. So you are going to get A minus C here. Right? Plus B. Positive B minus D. So you are going to get plus B e minus D here. That's all these forms part of what the imaginary part. So this is how we are. We are. This is what we are going to get when we subtract a, um, C plus D I from A plus D I. So this is how we do the subtraction of complex numbers. Let's use few examples and see how the how the understanding will go. Given Z1 equals 7 plus I and Z2 equals 3 minus I. We are supposed to evaluate Z1 minus Z2. So what are we going to get when we evaluate Z1 minus Z2? So Z1 minus z2 is going to be equal to this is my z1 so 7 plus i minus this is my z2 3 minus i so like i said earlier on in subtraction you are going to subtract the real part from the real part then the imaginary part two from the imaginary part all right so let's start so here, this, these are the real parts, 7 and 3. So 7 minus 3, you are going to get 4 for the real part. And we have 1 minus minus 1. Because here, the coefficient of the i is 1. Here to the coefficient of i is 1. It's negative 1 rather. Yes. So here, the coefficient of i is positive 1. So the, um, the imaginary part for the complex number z1 is positive one and the imaginary part for the complex number z2 is what's negative one so when we are doing the operationals uh we are carrying out the operation we have positive one here positive one minus minus one so we're going to get two we're going to get plus one minus into bracket minus one right we're going to get so this multiplied by i all of this we're going to get four plus into bracket one plus one give us two so two i so we're going to get four plus two i as our final answer if you are confused this is what i meant Adding the real part is quite simple. The 7 is here and the 3 is here. So you just add them. You just subtract them. Because we have 7 minus 3 here. So 7 minus 3 is going to give us just 4. And here to the imaginary part, the coefficient of i here is 1. So the imaginary part here is 1. Then we are subtracting it from an imaginary part which has um, a value of negative 1. So we have. 1 minus minus 1 and 1 minus minus 1 the negatives 
will become positive. The two negatives will tend to be positive. So we have 1 minus minus 1. And it's going to give us 2. So that's why we had positive 2 i here. As simple as that. All right. Let's try one more example. We have Z1 is equal to 16 minus I4 and Z2 and Z2 equals 12 minus i4 so these are the two complex numbers to be subtracted so we are asked to find the value of c z1 minus z2 so we have our z1 here so 16 or z1 minus z2 equals 16 minus i4 minus 12 minus I four. Okay. So Z one minus Z two is going to be we have sixteen here. These are the real parts. The real part for the Z one is sixteen and for Z two is twelve. So sixteen or positive sixteen minus positive twelve. We are going to get four here. Positive four here. Right? We are going to get positive 4 here. Then here we are going to have negative 4. Because the imaginary part here is negative 4. Negative 4 minus minus 4. Let me write it here. We are going to get negative. This is the negative 4. Minus this part. And this negative 4 is for the imaginary part of the Z2. As you can see over here, we're going to get negative 4 plus 4, which is what? 0. So we are going to get just 4. Or in other words, 4 plus 0i. But there is no use writing the 0i. So for this particular complex number, when you subtract z2 from z1, you are going to get just 4. So that is that for addition and subtraction of complex numbers. Thank you for watching the video and stay tuned for the next episode of Complex Numbers.